With Stored IQ Legal Hold, companies benefit from a simplified yet robust solution for managing the entire legal hold process. As an integral part of Discovery IQ, Stored IQ's eDiscovery application, users can follow an intuitive eDiscovery based workflow for executing legal holds. From notification to tracking acknowledgement to analyzing custodial data, and finally collection and preservation, legal and IT users gain complete control and insight into the duty to preserve process with a reliable, repeatable, and auditable solution that seamlessly integrates hold notifications with the collection and preservation of data. At a glance, legal or IT users can track matters from the Discovery IQ dashboard and quickly see which custodians have been notified, which have responded, whose data has been analyzed, and whose has been collected. Using Discovery IQ, a user can select potential custodians and initiate a hold notification, determine follow-up and reminder intervals for non-responders, and schedule escalation notifications for non-responsive custodians to a custodian's manager. Once potential custodians have been notified, users can take advantage of Stored IQ's Analyze Anywhere technology. Stored IQ shifts early case analysis to the identification stage of the eDRM, enabling early case assessment that can be performed on ESI natively where it resides without first copying any data to a repository. This is a significant distinction from traditional ECA because it enables legal to deeply analyze the potentially responsive matter prior to preservation and collection. Once analysis is complete, data can be copied from the data source to a secure repository for legal hold, or it can be held in place depending on an organization's infrastructure. To ensure that the copy is forensically sound, a hash is performed on the source file and is compared to a hash of the copy on the repository. The entire legal hold process is documented with comprehensive audit trails, preserving the authenticity and chain of custody. In instances where the same files are relevant for multiple cases, Stored IQ will copy and place on legal hold only a single instance of that file. If that file is required for multiple matters, each matter will utilize that single copy, saving storage space as well as the time and bandwidth required to collect the data. And with incremental collections, only files that are new or have been modified since the last collection will be collected for preservation, further streamlining the collection process. Since Stored IQ Legal Hold is synchronized across all applications, including legal, records management, and compliance, a file that is no longer relevant for a legal matter may still in fact be obligated to legal hold for other use cases and will therefore continue to be held. Among the many features of Stored IQ Legal Hold solution, a key differentiator is its seamless integration with the collection and preservation of data. The result is reduced risk of spoliation, ability to make earlier and more informed settle versus litigate decisions, more productive workers, smaller data sets for review, and full chain of custody throughout the e-discovery process. Industry experts agree that Stored IQ's integrated hold notification with intelligent data collection creates a holistic and legally defensible process which eliminates the burden on custodians, improves efficiency, and reduces legal risk. Now let's take a look at the Stored IQ Integrated Legal Hold application. From within a given matter, it's easy to manage the hold notification process. For this example, we'll use an existing stock option backdating matter. From here, you can move to the hold notification section, where you can see from the dashboard that there are three notifications currently defined. Seed level notification, development notice, and sales notification. If you need to create a new notification, you can quickly do so by selecting Create Hold Notification on the left side of the screen. Start by giving your new hold notification a name. Let's call this Accounting Notice. Completing the description field is optional. We can also schedule escalation notifications for non-responsive custodians and have them sent to a custodian's manager, simplifying the legal hold process while maximizing compliance. Next, we determine where we would like to save the notification and then continue. 
At this point, we can define different messages to be used for our county notification. We can either enter them manually or we can upload them using templates. Here we have a series of templates that are already defined. Let's use the default called initial notice and import that one. Once templates are loaded, we can edit them as needed. In this particular case, let's edit the to field to show something slightly different. Variable fields such as matter, custodian, etc. can be automatically populated in templates to deliver customized custodian notices, eliminating manual effort. In this example, we'll use full name of the recipient as the template variable, which will be automatically added to the notification. We can also use the carbon copy field so that the recipient can view the full list of potential custodians. From this stage, we can also view the full content of the hold notice and then save our changes to continue. Now let's create a follow-up message. This is a message that will be sent to people that have not responded to the initial notification or have not acknowledged receipt of the initial message. We can again populate this notification from existing templates. We have the option to set how often follow-up notifications are sent and whether or not we want to set escalation notices. The next message we're going to create is a reminder. This is going to be sent to people who have responded to the initial notification, but we just want to remind them that their data is still under legal hold. We are again using templates to expedite the process and have the option to set how often this reminder goes out. One last example of a message that we might need to create is an end matter notice. Once again, we can utilize a template created in advance. The final step in the notification process is selecting the distribution list of who we need to notify. Discovery IQ is fully integrated with Active Directory, so we can pick individual users to notify or pick from distribution groups. We can search for the group we want to pick from the list and easily add them to the legal hold notice. Once we've finished, the notice is saved as a draft, allowing us to go back and edit any individual message, add recipients, or even add attachments such as a claim notice or the actual hold notice itself. Attachments can be added to the initial notification as well as any follow-up messages. Now we click Activate and the initial notices are sent out to our potential custodians and the follow-up and reminder notices will be sent based on the schedule we've specified. Now that we've gone through the process of creating a hold notification, let's jump back over to our dashboard to view other hold notifications that are in progress and see what other actions we can take. Looking at our development notice, we can see there are 11 people who have already responded and we can view the status of each custodian. As an example, we can see that William has been sent a legal hold notice and we are still awaiting his response. In the case that William doesn't have access to the corporate network, we have the option to manually confirm his notification acknowledgement. We can also see custodians who have responded to our development notification and at any point in time, we can download a full audit report. We can also release the hold whenever the particular matter is over, or release individuals if we realize they are no longer considered custodians in a case. And finally, if there is a change in management, we can edit the escalation path to alter who gets contacted in the event a custodian doesn't respond to an initial hold notification.